Hi, my name is Haley Sprinkle, and I'm from Britain Co. Thank you so much for speaking with me today. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet y'all. Well, I'm so excited. This movie was so silly and fun and heartwarming. Um, and I noticed there are two really big themes about this film, which are exes and food. So I just want to jump right into it. Would each of you first ever work with an ex and second, let your... Um... I would work with my ex, of course. Um, I, 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 I have and would again. And then letting your significant other work with your ex, it's not a great feeling. I think if it was super important to them, yeah, but I think it probably wouldn't be the best feeling in the world. Yeah, what about I feel like I'm with Zach. <laughs> <For both. laughs> How about you, Evelyn? With exes, I feel like... Um... The Quebec acting world is a small one. And so we've tended to have dated each other. And then you meet each other five years later and you're like, hey, now you're my brother. Isn't that weird? <laughs> they're cool. And they're all great actors. I mean, obviously, if you've dated them, you've admired them at some point in your life. So it's glad to, you know, I'm friends with my exes. There's no few there. So it's nice to see them. But obviously, never, no one really wants to, you know, know that they're, I don't think my boyfriend loves it that very much. But <laughs> I think he's secure enough to know that just like for Sophie and Gordon, like, I'm 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 his. <laughs> I love that. No, I love that so much. The second theme, obviously, that I noticed was really around the food. I feel like there's so much talk about the food in this film. And I was curious if each of you has like a go to recipe when you have people coming over. Or to impress. To impress or maybe something that just like makes people feel like they're at your home and like feel very welcomed. To impress, we do oysters and then we do a samoil with like um, like kosher salt. And it's really easy to make, but it's really special because you have that bone and you scoop it up. And if you, you know, have an arugula salad, it's really nice. But if it's just regular, it's a uh, roast chicken. I love that. That is fancy. <laughs> um, I don't know. I feel like the thing that makes you feel like you're at my house is if we're ordering delivery. <laughs> That's valid. That's so valid. <laughs> Same way. If you're coming over, um, I can I will order you the most amazing meal. I love that. Do you have like a type of food that y'all like to order? It's an amazing restaurant in, in LA that I really like uh, called Pache. And uh, it's like a uh, very rustic Italian. So that's what I like to order. Like, that's my favorite. I love that. Yeah, I don't know. I don't discriminate. I just love food. <laughs> relatable answers Vanessa and that kind of leads me to something I was really curious about obviously everyone knows and loves you as a singer but I was curious was the singing originally written in the movie or is that something that kind of bubbled up on set just knowing how talented you are yeah that was definitely in the script when I first met with Nick and James our directors um and writers, I talked to them about it. They're like, would you be down to sing a song? And I'm like, are you kidding me? This is hilarious. Yes, I would love nothing more. Um, and they kind of presented me an idea roughly of what they thought for the song. And I just went with it and uh, ran as fast as I possibly could with it. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I always feel like a good comedic singing moment is great. And I also love like really physical comedic comedy which I feel like that was really big in this too with the waterbed. And so I was curious what it was like for you, Zach and Evelyn, to work with the waterbed choreography because the waterbed felt like a character in itself, honestly. <laughs> it was really funny, you know? I mean, Evelyn and I would just be cracking up, uh, especially that, that there's that scene where we're, we attempt to have sex and, uh, and, the, and the waterbed is, is fighting us and then she falls asleep. I mean, it's just such a, if you're a physical comedian, oh, there's a lot to do with the waterbed. It's just so stupid. I mean, it's so ironic that it's a thing. And, and, and it's just so silly. I mean, the, I remember the crew just laughing just from watching us try and do these, these scenes. So it was, it was a good, it was a good scene partner, that waterbed. 
I feel that that room is also um, sort of gives us clues about the soul of uh, Antoine Olivier Pilon's character, Junior. I mean, you 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 walk in there and you're like, oh yeah, oh yeah, I know that guy. <laughs> He's all, it's all there. <laughs> Love that so much. And then that leads me to my last question for all of you. What is your number one tip or go-to trick so that you don't laugh in the middle of a scene? It was given to me when I was really young. It was to look into somebody's eyes. Because I think if you flip back in your own little world, you, you you can get like stuck in your like muscle, just want it to like, you know. And But if you if you look hook into someone, then um, there's like a connected truth that happens. That doesn't work for me. I have to tell myself that the crew is pissed and they want to go home and they want to be with their families and you're wasting everyone's time. Even if that's... <laughs> The crew might be laughing their asses off, but I tell myself in my head to stop from when you have the giggles and you just can't stop. That I'm like, everyone's mad. They want to go home. Pull it to pull it to pull it together. <laughs> That's what I tell myself. <laughs> That's really great. I feel I feel I feel like I kind of relate to that naturally. I'm just like be a professional, Vanessa. And you're here to do your job and get it done as quickly as possible. It doesn't always work. <laughs> That's super fair. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to talk to me today. Congratulations on a fabulous film. I can't wait for everyone to see it. Thank oh you. Have a good day, y'all. Bye.